Hi, this is Linda. Today we're going to talk about Microsoft Teams and specifically what the process is to add a guest to your organization. It's real easy if you have people in your tenant, but having a guest is a whole different thing. And I found this great documentation over on Microsoft about how to add a guest to a team. And right here it says anyone with a business or consumer email account, such as Outlook, Gmail, or others, can participate as a guest. What they don't say up front is how many steps it takes to do this. So first, uh, let's go over here. The instructions say, this is my Azure Active Directory. And over here, you can do a lot of things in the, in the background. And one of the things it said is you can add a guest user over here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that will send an email to him. And I'm also going to come over here to my practice group. And you can also add people here. So I'm going to add him over here. You go down, you can manage the team or you can add members. So I'm going to add someone. And it does say add people outside your organization by typing their email address. And you can see it was already in there since I put it in Active Directory. So that is there. Now we are going to check his email and I can see that it's right there, but I'm going to pause for a minute to wait, have this kind of propagate through the tenant. All right. So now we see another email popped in. I first got one from Azure Active Directory. Then I got one also from Teams. So I'm going to use the one from Teams and they give you a link. I'm going to copy this link because I am using Teams in Edge. All right, so I've copied and pasted that link over here in Edge. Otherwise, it would have opened it up in uh, Firefox. So here's the welcome. Welcome to Extreme Virtual Support. You've been invited. Go, go on. Oh, and it also says to access applications, you'll need a Microsoft account with this email address. Well, if if you're not a big um, computer user or Microsoft user, you may not understand what a Microsoft account is. And that is even you can set up a Microsoft account and then you'll get email, OneDrive, calendar, all of that stuff. And you have to have one in order to be on Teams. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And so now I've got to sign out of this account I'm in and it says I have to create account. You click next and you do a password and then they send you a code. I'm going to have to go check that code and in the email and verify it and I'll be right back. Here's the code and I'm going to have to copy and paste that over here. I don't want any emails. Click next. And now they've got another security verification. So they're going to text code. So I'm going to hang on and I'm going to do this part. Got the code entered. I click next. And now, now I'm in. Just my thing with this is it's really a lot to do for someone to be in a team. Unless you're going to be in there long term. I think it's just too many steps. And now if you had a if you have a an Outlook account or another business Office 365 account, then you don't have to go through that because you've already got your Microsoft account set up. But for someone with a Gmail or something else, then I just think it's you you know, you're you're forcing them to set up a Microsoft account, which I really don't like. So those are the steps and then you can get into the team and, and everything's fine. But I just wanted to make you aware of this. Thanks so much. If you have a comment, please leave it. Thank you.